More and more employees are taking their work with them on mobile devices. If you're curious to see how mobile computing became so ubiquitous in government agencies, the Computer History Museum can show you the journey. Uh, portable computing has been around uh, since the early PC era and in some cases even before them for a specialized application. The, the handheld pocket calculator is a portable calculation device and there's a long tradition of portability and computing and calculation. Mobile computing's evolution encompasses many devices we've taken for granted. Multiple versions of the Palm Pilot and old laptop models are some of the more obvious ones, but your old diving computer or GPS device may not come to mind. We think of sophisticated smartphones and tablets as mobile devices we can work on, but older, specialized mobile devices help us do our jobs too. Why are people still using handheld scientific calculators? Well, there is a niche market for that as well. It used to be the most common uh, portable calculation device, computation device, it used to be a programmable calculator. Mobile computing is a big, venerable topic with gadgets that aren't always easy to categorize. Whenever there's a new form factor, a new size of a computer device, computing device that comes in, the applications don't necessarily change. Um, I just was looking at a, a white paper by a company, a software company, that allows you to interface your mainframe to your iPad so that these input masks that are still very popular in many, many applications, especially in government, that run on large IBM mainframes or Unisys mainframes, you can now access using on your iPad. Um, and it's not clear to me that those will necessarily go away. But regardless, some older devices have gone away, like Apple's Newton message from 1993, and 1980s laptops like the rugged grid compass and the clunky Osborne One that was about as heavy as a sewing machine. The future of mobile computing is still being written, and the story will continue for years to come. It depends on what we think of computing in the future. Um, is it the consumption of media? Are you just listening to music and watching movies? Well, you can do that on your, your iPod. You could have done this for many years already. Is it, is it communication with other people? Is it running application? There are some people who lament the fact that you can't really program on a lot of these tablets very easily, but you could do that on the PC. Is that what your computer uses? But some items from the past can be pretty good at predicting the future. What you see here is a, um, a reproduction model of the Dynabook in 1968, Alan Kay at uh, Xerox Palo Alto Research Center had this idea that the computer of the future would be this device that would be the size of a book, that would be flat, that would be somehow connected, and wherever you are, you could just look up any information you want or interact with people. And given the popularity of today's tablets and e-readers, he apparently was on to something. For more technology news, read Government Technology Magazine and visit govtech.com.